Good afternoon, all of you. The collection this time is called Kalam Kutri, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. It is Kalankari in the syllabus of Kutri, Jeff from Rajasthan. Um, the textile used here is Khadi. Um, and uh, what you see uh, on me is the hand paint with natural dyes. So that's the art of Kalankari, which has been reinvented if you saw the show. We try to do some uh, a very eclectic and quirky uh, hand paints which uh, have never been tried on in the art of Kalankari. We generally do goddess figures and stories. So that was uh, you know one highlight of the show. And the second one was we try to achieve uh, a, you know like a runny pink color, which is also not generally done in natural life, so that's what we try to achieve this time. And uh, what you see on the model uh, uh, is um, uh, the Gota Pati technique, which is, uh, you know, age old, but people have forgotten the right way of doing it, you know, how we form the Gota and, uh, you know, sew it. So that's what we try to re-achieve it this time. And uh, we try to do a lot of uh, techniques, you know, the age old techniques again, uh, for Gota. So the motives and all are very, very primitive and um, it, it's just to take away from modernity but uh, go back to the grassroots and uh, that's why the black color comes in uh, with jaggery and iron rust. Uh, the blue comes from indigo, the red comes from madder and the yellow that you saw in the show were, were real turmeric. So this collection is uh, very therapeutic when you wear it. So it's not just, you know, what uh, you, know, what you see uh, it also what your skin is breathing. It's uh, breathing in not chemicals, but uh, natural dyes, which is therapeutic. Thank you. Hi. Uh, the collection is all about uh, mainly it gave us Ajra. Basically, Ajra is a formation of a Ajra. They used to call it Ajra. And we have used a lot of natural dyes. We have done a Dabu style printing to get this thing done. And we have used a lot of embroideries in a form of Jamdani, if you can see. Jamdani is not only can be done in a weaving, but we can embroider it out well to bring it out. And the colors are all naturals, abstracted from the natural things. So that's all about our collection. Hi everyone. Uh, this season, the collection, uh, my collection named is March. So basically, uh, the collection is inspired by the Maj Dharis of Rajasthan. So they are at, uh, what is they are the Dharis which are woven with leftover yarns, and they are woven by children and women who are learning to uh, weave Dharis. And every rug they weave, it it uh, ends up getting a different pattern and design and a different color combination. So every piece is very unique in itself. So that's been my inspiration. So in this collection, we've used a lot of kiln designs. And we've used, uh, like, you know, we've tried to inter interpret the Mohish Dari through, like, you know, using, uh, like, waste scrap, uh, like, you know, silk pieces, cotton and all that waste fabric and try to applique and patchwork in kilim patterns and create garments out of that. Uh, so, uh, like, as you see, what Lisa is wearing, so the crop top she's wearing, it is made out, uh, it's like best of waste. We've taken, like, shibori pieces, like, you know, uh, leftover shibori scraps, the silk scrap and everything, applique them together to create an interesting garment. And we've also used, like, you know, we have, being designers, we have so much of leftover fabric. Sometimes there's a dyeing problem or leftover yardage. Also, what we've done is we've taken that fabric and we've tie dyed that using shibori. So what you see what Lisa is wearing is a shibori kilim design jacket and a dhoti pant, you know, she's worn. So that's what we've made. It's like we've made best out of waste. We've just taken old fabrics, uh, you know, re tie dyed them and created something unique and interesting out of it. So that's what we've tried to do this season. Yeah. Thanks, Swati. I'll request Lisa to say a few words about what she thinks about the collection. I really feel this collection puts, um, puts garments and, you know, fabric to good use, especially since she's focus so much on, you know, putting things together in original and applique way using extra scrap fabrics. And um, not only is it conscious, but it's also very glamorous. And um, that's why I love Swathi's clothes, because they're sort of for a glamorous globetrotter who, even though they're very chic, also likes to have a non-conformist approach to the way that she dresses. So um, it's been a pleasure walking for you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it was very unique to change over from your normal dress to pattern. Like normal what? Normal dress pattern, which is normal yes. dress pattern. Yes. Absolutely. And that, that was a very good change and you could Thank see you. Very nice. That was our question for the Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Well, usually yeah. garments are so heavy. This one is so light and beautiful and made with such light silk. Mm -hmm.
It makes uh, it very comfortable. the pains you were mentioning. What sort of pains? Mm -hmm. How did the guy, how did I apply? And I can't see any of the pains in the golden age here. Uh, my collection is called Kalamkutli. So this is an amalgamation of uh, Kalamkari and Kalamkutli. So from the Kalamkutli has come Gota. So this is the Gota application. Uh, which I told you, uh, the, the reinvention of Gota, wherein you know, they just sort of sew it with the dhoni around it. We have folded it and sewn it. So that's like a technical uh, textile uh, agenda. One. And uh, paint is what I am wearing. This is uh, natural indigo, madder flower, tamari, um, rust, and jaggery. This is where the colors come from. They ferment, uh, you know, they're soaked and fermented, and that's how the colors are made. So these are called natural dyes. That's what I've been doing since four seasons now. You mentioned that you had a paint on there. Sorry, the black color know? comes from iron rust. Yes. The black iron color rust. is iron rust and jaggery. And uh, why did I get her is because she had all the water application and I was carrying the paint on me. So that's what the color to please all about. And how is it dried? Is there a process or it dried? Um, well, it is the garment is first washed in milk. So, and then it is a uh, water in river water, flowing river water. So that's how it's done, just, just like in two places in India, uh, in the world in fact. So, um, it's quite uh, rare. I think that should be mentioned. Quite it has, yeah. People know it, but yeah, it has, it, it should be um, a mention for sure. So, as I said that, you know, uh, uh, the collection was inspired by the Moish Dalis. So, for the accessories, we've taken from the inspiration from the weavers who weave them. So, like, you know, normally they wear very heavy silver jewelry and all, but we wanted to make something which is more contemporary and, you know, which everybody can just, like, you know, uh, like today, everybody can just wear it. So, we've tried to do, uh, like, you know, they have these head accessory, which we've tried to incorporate in the rings. So, we've done these concave rings, which look very interesting and trendy. And, you know, it's like, it's something different also. So, that's what we've done. We've done sh athlete shoes. We've done shibori shoes also. As I mentioned, that we, we were making, like, you know, uh, the leftover fabrics and we were trying to put it to the best use. So whatever is left from the garment, we converted them into shoes. And so if you see through the collection, there have been different patterns and designs on all the shoes. And you know, there were shibori shoes, there were applique shoes, there were patchwork shoes. So that's what we've done. And yeah, that's it. Then we've also used, uh, we've also tried to use like, you know, a little bit of Meena Kari because I work a lot with colors. So like even in accessories, we've tried to do a little bit of color. So like, you know, we have these concave rings again. Uh, which in which we've used like a, a little bit of uh, uh, we've tried to do that and also do inlay work like Meena Kari what we call it in Rajasthan so yeah that's what we've done. What about the price range? The outfit? Uh, my outfits uh, like in this particular collection they're varying from like I have something for around 4000 something also varying up to it is going up to like uh, under 40 like around 40 so that's like from 4 to 40 is the price bracket of the collection this time. What about yeah. yours and yours? Up. Our price bracket will start from 15,000 onwards up to 60, 65, depending on the detailings. Mm -hmm. um, well, mine starts at a um, uh, modest 18.8 till like a lakh up because Gota Patiya has been really, a uh, little intensive. Karakari itself is very, uh, you know, it's an expensive art. So, uh, is there any kind of you see yourself Yeah, I don't mind. Perhaps to a, um, especially when I travel, I think, when you go out, it's nice on holiday in Europe. I could even imagine wearing it to a lunch, wearing it to an event. I might wear it to, you know, not a super extravagant film fair awards or something, but I might wear it to a red carpet too, depending on the red carpet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.